Hey everybody and welcome to the Baked Alaskan. It's MS Monday and I'm talking about winter preparedness this week. And things that can make you safer. Uh, because we just got our first big winter snow here. And I realized I'm not prepared at all. <laughs> and I thought it'd be a great way to discuss that. And um talk about what we can do to get prepared. Okay. So the biggest thing in wintertime is avoid avoiding falls. And avoiding falls is probably um, the number one thing you can do to keep yourself healthy, because if you fall, you might break something, or sprain something, twist something, you know, you leave yourself with an injury that will last a long time. Um, so the first thing you can do to avoid falling is to have a good pair of shoes or boots, and I mean a good pair with, like, deep traction, tread, um, non-slip bottoms, and uh, it would be ideal if you had a lot of mobility in them. It's no good if you put on a pair of boots and you can't move around. You're just worse, almost worse off than if you were wearing a pair of shoes that you could slip in, because if you can't move, you're going to fall down, right? So... I don't know. So, number one, good shoes or boots. Um, you can add, they have these things that you can slip right over your boots or your shoes, and they're like a rubber netting almost. And the bottom has spikes. These little spikes that, for ice, you can walk on the ice and not fall. Those are also, like, super handy. I, I remember in Alaska, my mom had bought those for us when, in the middle of winter, because... In Alaska, the way it used to be, not before this global warming bullshit, but in the middle of winter, it's like, the snow's been around so long that it just gets packed down and packed down and packed down by everybody walking on it, driving on it, whatever, in parking lots, that you would just, it'd be like sheer ice in the mall. You pull in, you park, you get out, and you fall on your ass. Like, <laughs> that's just how it was. So my mom had gotten us these spikes to put on our shoes. And um, she was never somebody that was prepared. She would always wear sneakers or whatever. But she had these spikes. And uh, they were effective. Don't ask me where you get them. I think probably at one of those, like, um, mill stores or, um, yeah. It feels like pet food and stuff. I bet you they sell them there. Anyways. Uh, so that goes back to the shoes. So number two is keep your walkway or driveway clear and salted. Because that's your first battle right there, right on your home front. You don't want to fall right in front of your house or your apartment or what else. You know, you just make sure that you're safe. And if you live in a building and they're not clearing it, make sure you go to the landlord tenant board and tell them that you're disabled or, you know, sick or whatever, and that this is a hazard, and they will do something. <clears throat> At least I'm told they will. So, here's, a uh, here's to everybody. Cheers. Smoking on a little LA Confidential today. It's delicious and wonderful. I really enjoy the strain. <coughs> it's been helping me sleep a lot better this past week that I got it. Um, so your next key to staying safe is dressing appropriately. And that's hat, gloves, scarf coat, and your sensible shoes. 
It's also not wearing a mini skirt in the middle of winter. It's also not, you know, wearing a thin, thin jacket because you're just going from the car to the inside because if you break down, that's not going to save you. And I know a lot of you don't drive, and, uh, like, I don't drive anymore, but I do have things in this list about driving because I do believe very passionately about being safe and, uh, being prepared. So, the next thing we have is in that vein to keep a car emergency kit and to make sure in the wintertime it has a blanket in it. You need that blanket if you break down, trust me. It's important. Don't do it tomorrow, whatever. Do it today. Put it in there. Um, make sure your vehicle has snow tires because keeping you safe uh, is part of the battle. You know, like keeping you from being in the ditch. You know, those snow tires versus all season tires are what's going to make the difference between you skidding into the curb or whatever and you staying on course. So, when you can, like, I just, snow tires, always. All season are good for the winter, uh, summertime, but, you know, like, snow tires. Um, if you're having balance problems, and I need to take this one to heart, I need to do it this year. I need to get a cane because uh, I need that extra level of stability, especially in the winter time. So um, that's that's on my list of things to do. Use a cane if you're having balance problems. Uh, the next thing is carry um, an extra set of meds in your purse or bag because. You never know where you're going to be or where you're going to end up if you get break, broken down or if you are if you commute on the highway or something, you know, if you're stuck overnight in a big traffic jam or whatever. Having an extra set of pills, being able to pull off the highway and just say, I don't need to get home. I can just pull off the highway and go to this Motel 6 or whatever and get a night, good night's sleep. I have my pills. It's okay. And then I'll get home when they've got the roads clear in the morning or something. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just nice to have the option. Uh, next one is carry a cell phone. I know a lot of us can't afford that, but uh, that's something that I make a priority to pay for is a cell phone. So I'm always in contact with my wife. Um... It's just, I think it's just a tool that in this day and age you cannot be without. Even if you have a pay-as-you-go, just have a flip phone with a pay-as-you-go card, you know, ready to go if something happens. Just be safe, right? Uh, the next thing is make sure your phone is always charged before leaving. You know, like, it doesn't do you much good if you've got a half charge and, you know, something happens. So charge that baby up. And then go out to the mall or whatever. And, uh, last but not least, just consider an auto club for roadside assistance like CAA or AAA. It's, um, I had it the last year I had my car because my car had a lot of little fiddly things starting to go wrong with it, and I was really concerned that um, I was going to be stranded somewhere. And once I got that protection, and it cost me like 60 bucks for the whole year, that's like 5 bucks a year, or 5 bucks a month. Like, that's ridiculous. Think about it. Think about your peace of mind for that. And um, it was just really important that last year. And I did use it once for a flat tire, but other than that, I didn't use it. So that's my list of 10 things to make yourself safer this winter, to keep yourself from falling or having a spill, and hurting yourself worse than need be. Um, and not that there's hurting yourself on a level that's need be, but... <laughs> <coughs>
it is important to protect yourself and to think ahead and to really consider these things when you're sick because um you know this is this is the kind of stuff that makes the difference in the long run <laughs> so as I said earlier, we got our first snow here uh, last night, and I was out walking in it because we needed groceries, and I didn't want to go out today because it was going to be worse. And um, it was it was pretty cold. It was blowing snow and uh, about freezing maybe a couple degrees below freezing and just not white out conditions but it was blowing and it was quite the walk I tell you but it really hit home the fact that I really wasn't prepared for it I just didn't buy I didn't get my boots that I meant to get on Kijiji when I had my car, so now I don't have boots for the winter again, and, uh, you know, it just brought up all the stuff, and I thought, you know what, I bet there are other people that have the same problem, and I thought, you know, I could do something to just make it so, um, it was, there was a dialogue about it, you know, like, I think... Some of the things I've put on my list are pretty important, but they're kind of off the beaten path as far as brainwaves go. So, I hope I thought of things that you hadn't thought of, and I hope I reminded you to do something to make yourself safer today. And uh, I hope that you have a wonderful MS Monday, and that your week is looking good, because we all deserve to have a good day and we all deserve to have a good week and it's Monday so let's make it happen. Take care everybody. Be well.